I, uh, <clears throat> I have a picture of me. It's all about me. <laughs> I have a picture of me 20 years ago. I was 33. So was Chris, believe it or not. I'll get to that. Um, 33 looked the best I ever did. Never as good before that. Definitely <laughs> not since. <laughs> and I, I was gonna, if I could have blown it up, not only destroy it, but make it bigger. <laughs> I was gonna bring it and say, this is what I would look like if I was a Medina. <laughs> the anti-aging. Well, <laughs> as I met your family, likewise, uh, either family, they're gonna have gorgeous children. <laughs> Uh, so down to business. I'm going to lay some years on you, which is why I went page thing first, because uh, as I tell these years, you're going to have to look at me. <laughs> you won't believe it if you look at Chris or Yvonne or any other anti-aging Medinas. And, yeah. uh, not going to believe it. Just look at me right here. And then you'll be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense now. <laughs> so I first met Chris 48 years ago. Mm. Five-year-old kindergarten, Mrs. Soper's class. Uh -huh. I walked up to him. And this is where I want to say <clears throat> one great attribute of Chris. And probably the reason we've been, a big reason we've been friends for so many years is Chris is patient. That's a, a must. As you probably can already tell, even if you don't know me. Yeah, that guy requires a lot of patience. Um, <laughs> Chris has that. Very patient. Because uh, when I first walked up to him, he was jamming a little dinosaur down into the sand in the sandbox. <laughs> sandbox up, they were up on tables. Weird class. Uh, but I remember this like it was yesterday. He was just jamming it. And what I said, <clears throat> y'all might be wondering, what did Scott say that sparked off a 48-year friendship? <laughs> Granted, patience is required, but that that lasted all this time. What did Scott say? But forgive me first. I was like, are you Chinese? <laughs> forgive me. I didn't know a lot back then. Not as much as, I mean, I know everybody do now. So Chris, very patient, very patient. He was like, hi, my name's Chris. I was like, oh, I should have led with that, yeah. <laughs> that question. He's like, well, hey, let me, without, this, now this isn't word for word, I don't remember what exactly he said, but it was something like this. Let me tell you about the Philippines, and I'm a Filipino. He told me a bit, whatever a five-year-old Chris Medina, Christopher Alvin Sarno Medina. Yeah. Was, um, and he it was probably great. I learned more that day than I think uh, my whole life. <laughs> By the way, so for the speech, oh, and they told me, I appreciate it, they said, look, don't go over 20 minutes on your speech. Said, okay. That's funny, you were putting up three. Three, three. Um, anyway, I'll make, I will try to make this quick. I have ADHD. So, uh, and now where was I? So, uh, and I'm old. The sandbox. Thank you. So the sandbox, he explained, and so for the speech, I thought, hey, yeah, I got 20 minutes. I really did think I had 20 minutes before I got the street. <laughs> this was months ago, February, by, by the way. So I was looking up the Philippines, 4,760 islands. I did not know that. But I will move on to Chris now. It's about Chris. And um, so throughout the years, Chris has always been there for me, but has always been patient. And um, he's been a great friend. And I can only talk about one more memory, which is from last night. Um, <laughs> asked, Wait. I don't have permission. <laughs> to say who it was, but someone put together a, a get-together for the men last night. His name starts with Rich. <laughs> um, but I can't tell you anymore. But what a wonderful guy. He, I, To me, he's, if there is another best man, of course there isn't, but I mean, if there is, I gotta give a shout out to my new friend there, um, Rich. That's what his name starts with. Um, but uh, we had a it was more fun than I could have ever imagined. He's a great host. Um, but Chris, uh, this, I could go on and on and on. I really, the one time my speech was 40 minutes. Seriously. <laughs> but I will shorten, no, I'm not, I'm gonna shorten it. Um, <clears throat> it's almost over. Um, but uh, Chris whipped us. We, we, got a point where we, were, oh, we were doing 80s uh, uh, music trivia. 
and um, we were on a team, and then we were like, hey, Chris is kind of, he's winning this by himself, so we all ganged up on him, and he was by himself, and still with her, but I'll remember that in 50 years when you guys have your anniversary. <laughs> um, and I hope years. my memory's still as good as 50 years from now, or 48 years from now, um, as it is now, but um, I have one more shout out to the bride, she usually is supposed to come first, I forgot. <laughs> the bride, Yvonne. Uh, well, Yvonne and I met in uh, in Andrews Academy, and I, I'll skip to right now, because there's not as many stories. Uh, and Joelle has recovered, from what I understand. Um, I really uh, appreciate you for helping your part in bringing my man back from Japan. Hey, my man in Japan, that right. So, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. And you look lovely. Um, so you, uh, goodbye. Um, so, to the couple, oh, raise your, I think I drank it, uh, pretend this has something. If you'd like, uh, just a quick toast, raise your glasses to the new couple. I wish huzzah. them, huzzah. I'm just going to say huzzah, that was good. Huzzah? Oh, I'm done. <laughs> All right, Scott.